Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. You should be a witness to that and please be a witness for that for over 150 videos that I made so far on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys. And by you I mean subscribers and some people not even subscribers but I still make the video for them. Just a like button that's all I'm asking. Or actually if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel man? I don't have anything to sell, I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. Everything I do create, I post it completely free on the channel. So it's a win-win situation but I let you decide and I respect your decision. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. And I apologize at first, my uh, voice might sound a little bit off. I'm uh, really sick, but I have too many requested uh, videos from people. So someone has to make them and I'm the only one that's working for you. So here I am making them. And here I am back with another requested video, which is how to resize the sold out badge on the product page on your Shop Shopify store for either mobile or desktop or both of them. Yes, you heard that right. So no worries, I got you. If you want to resize the sold out badge on the product page for mobile only, this video will help you out. And if you want to do that for desktop only, this video will help you out. And if you want to do that for both of them, no worries. This video will help you out as well. And we will do that by using the same code. You just have to customize that code a little bit so the changes will apply to either one of them or both of them. And I will show you how to do that, obviously. And without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard in here. And I have down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So everything or every code I do share on my channel, I do demonstration in the video on down team. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free, the most used teams, which is Refresh, Spotlight, Taste, Sense, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try the tricks on all of these teams. So even if you're not using down team, you're using one of these teams, it should work for you just fine. Because as I said, I do test the codes behind the scenes on, on all of these teams and I do that behind the scenes so I don't bore people in the video because it's like five or six teams in here. And also I just have to say this in the beginning of the video so you, I'll give you that peace of mind because you're gonna see me doing it on down team and you might be thinking, oh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is, so no worries. And with that out of the way, let's just get to it and show you how to resize this guy right here, the sold out badge, but on the product page in here, sold out badge, not on the, uh, the product cards as we saw earlier. And by the way, this is the Shopify store where I do all the tutorials. So literally everything in the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. Literally every little thing on the Shopify store, I did it in videos. And I do provide the codes for them for free. So if you saw anything in here that you liked and you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel because that video will be already made and posted on the channel. Once it's here, that means it's already done and, and posted because I don't remove the changes from this Shopify store. I keep them so people will see them and if they are interested, they can do the trick. But what I'm talking about, as I said, for this video is this one right here, this little guy. So I will show you how to resize this badge right here on the product page so we'll keep this page open do the trick and come back to it so let's just get back to shopify dashboard and after that the first thing you're going to do is click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code it will take you to the code editor for your shopify team and after that in here we need to find the specific file instead of looking at the files and folders use the search bar at the top left corner and again i have to repeat this so it's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css and some rare custom made teams is going to be custom.css so again either base or team or style in my case i know it's base most of the teams now use base.css and they are the same it's just the naming of the file that's different they all have the same code so simply click on it and a bunch of csf code will, will show up in here after that scroll all the way down let me drag this it's a huge file here we go. So after that, we need to create some space because obviously we're going to paste in some code. But there is no space in here. To create that space, click front of the last thing, the last line in here. Then hit enter on your keyboard. And here we go. We have a completely new line with nothing on it. 
and because as i said we need to pass in some code and to get that code you need to hire a developer pay him wait 24 hours then get back to you the code i'm just joking scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as code click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this beautiful code as you can see so this little code will do the trick for us resizing the sell the sold out badge on the product page so select the whole code in here and by the way let me explain this and later i will show you how to uh, do the changes only for the mobile or only for the desktop or both of them this code that you see right now the default without any changes will do that for the desktop only okay so in here it says font size you already know what font, <laughs> what font size right i don't have to translate this so uh, the second one is uh, line height you know what line height is and this one is the padding the padding is the positioning it's already simple everything is very simple in here so select the whole code after that select you know, including the closing bracket that's really important and right click copy get back in here paste it at the bottom of the file and for the changes i'm going to keep them like just like this just for demonstration and then we will click on save button wait for a couple of seconds we're good to go we will get back in here reload the page and see the changes so let's just reload the page and check it out it's much bigger as you can see now we got much much bigger but as i said this is only for the for the desktop so if i switch to the mobile let me switch to the mobile let me click on inspect uh, I, iphone 14 pro max yeah it's good uh, check it out now it's not big at all it's just the regular size but if i close this again it's back again which is much bigger so the changes only apply for the desktop not for the mobile what if you want to apply this the opposite which is on the mobile but not on the desktop that's easier than than said just get back to the code in here and you see here let me zoom in on it so you see here it says the first line media screen and min dash width min stand for minimum simply select this min right here and type in max it's very simple and click on the save button after that we will get back in here let's just reload the page and boom back to the regular size again which is smaller but if i switch to the mobile now check it out it's much bigger now as you can see <laughs> it's much bigger on the mobile but just the regular size on the desktop so now it's the opposite and and yes i know maybe you want to do it for both of them you want to include the changes for both desktop on the mobile that's easy get back in here and after that you see the thing that we did change in this line right here select the whole line including this opening bracket remove it closing bracket at the end remove it click on the save button wait for a couple of seconds it save it i will get back in here reload the page and boom much bigger as you can see and if i switch to the mobile much bigger again so the changes will apply for both now desktop on the mobile and that's how you resize the sold out badge on the product page for the desktop only or the mobile only or both of them that's your decision i'll let you pick and choose but for now i think my job is done thanks for watching catch you in the next one